Candy Sweeney, owner and creator of Nikki Natural Handcrafted Soap and Skin Care. I've been using essential oils for about 15 years. I also teach classes, do hands-on workshops with essential oils and herbs, and teach others how to use them in their daily living. Now, what I've seen lately, or in the last couple of years, on the internet is unsafe and incorrect use of essential oils. I've noticed a lot of misinformation about it, mostly on Facebook and Pinterest. And what I've, what I've noticed is that um, they're just not giving correct information. So uh, the, the two main unsafe practices that I've noticed is number one, <clears throat> the uh, application of undiluted essential oils directly on the skin. They call this neat use of essential oils. And this can cause anything from minor skin irritation to chemical burns on the skin. So there's that uh, bit of information. And then the other one is using essential oils orally. And in particular, the, the idea that people are, are putting drops of essential oils into their drinking water and drinking them once to several times a day. <clears throat> so today I would like to focus on this practice and hopefully demonstrate why this is unsafe and unnecessary. Um, it takes a very large amount of plant material to produce an essential oil. Essential oils are very concentrated and they are made by steam distillation and uh, there are other methods as well that uh, the citrus oils are produced by uh, cold pressing most times. So they take the, the, um, the citrus peels and they use that to uh, produce the essential oils for citruses. Um, now I said it takes a, quite a bit of, of material to produce essential oils. So if you look at this rose, it takes about 50 roses to produce one drop of essential oil. Now, this is a one ounce bottle and it takes 30,000 uh, roses to produce one ounce of, a, of rose essential oil. Now for lemon essential oil, it takes about 100 lemons, the lemon peels, to produce the one ounce bottle of essential oil. Uh, so when we're when we're talking and that that's a lot of lemons. So if you're putting drops of of lemon essential oil in your water, you're you're utilizing a lot of lemons in in that <clears throat> glass of water. Now, lemon juice in and of itself has well lemons. They have fiber. Um, they have lots of vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients, and antioxidants. Uh, but the but the essential oil is made from the peel and there are no nutrients present in the essential oil. Now lemon essential oil is almost entirely composed of what are called monoterpenes. And the primary monoterpene in the chemical, chemical makeup of lemon essential oil is limonene. Now limonene is a great organic solvent as are all citrus, citrus oils, wonderful for cleaning. They're, they're great for, um, they're used uh, industrially as paint thinners, furniture cleaners, furniture polishing, and also in some commercial products uh, like Goo Gone. I don't know if you're familiar with that product, but you put Goo Gone on, like say there's a label on a glass bottle or jar, you put that on there and that adhesive comes right off. And that is consist, consisted of limonene. Now, so the Goo Gone dissolves that stickiness much like the lemon essential oil dissolves the lining of our gastrointestinal tracts. So when one is putting essential oil in their water and drinking it, you are damaging that lining that protects our intestinal tract, our esophag 
our esophagus, our stomachs from ulcers. Uh, there's been a rise in this kind of practice, but there's also been a rise in esophagitis, stomach ulcers, and also many uh, intestinal distresses. So, um, and then the reasons people give for actually ingesting essential oils are not even medically substantially sound. There's no science that backs up a lot of the, uh, the reasons that people are doing this. And there are many essential oils that are approved for flavoring foods, but that internal amount is standardized for that particular industry. So there's something called gross, generally uh, regarded as safe, and that is on, on uh, some of these essential oils. But what that means is that the industry takes that and, and standardizes Eyes it and they use the correct dose in that food. So, you know, many people also believe that products labeled natural are safe and good for them. This is not necessarily true. The safety of the botanical depends on many things, such as the chemical makeup, how it works in the body, uh, the dose, and how it is prepared. So, lemon juice, as you can see, uh, the lemons have uh, lots of fiber, like we talked about earlier, and all these nice vitamins and minerals. And we can squeeze them, squeeze the lemon into the, the water, and we can get all those nutrients from that. So you might ask, so what can I use lemon essential oil for then? Well, uh, you can use it in a carrier oil, a vegetable oil. Um, diluted in the, the right proportions for skin care. It's a good astringent. Um, you can put it in a, a diffuser, similar to this one. I mean, this is just a, a basic one that warms up the water and you pour, you put the drops of, of essential oil in there and it, and it creates a wonderful fragrance and can uplift. Lemon is a great uh, mood lifter. And, um, and so you can diffuse that, and it's just, it, I use it for my, my kitchen cleaning. So it's, it's just, it has wonderful uses. And essential oils can be a beautiful addition to your life if you learn how to use them correctly and safely. And next time you'd like to use a lemon in your health regimen, I suggest that you get the real thing and, and put it in your water instead of the lemon essential oil. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day.